Come on guys, take a picture. Come look together. <laughs> That's a video. Oh. Always been the kind of girl that hid my face So afraid to tell the world what I've got to say But I have this dream right inside of me I'm gonna let it show It's time to let you know To let you know This is a real Okay guys, so it is early morning, like 6.15, Friday, September 6th, and it is the day that we are going to hit the road. Our first stop will be Sioux Falls, South Dakota tonight, um, which is about four hours away. I did it so that we're not driving more than six hours at a time. I didn't want to get the kids too exhausted, um, plus I didn't want to drive forever. I'm driving by myself, and... Um, I didn't want to do any night driving. So we made it to our hotel in Sioux Falls. It's nice. They even gave us a little dining area. So we are having Fazoli's. I haven't had Fazoli's in forever. If you don't know what Fazoli's is, you need to figure it out. It's delicious. Try it out. <laughs> so yes, this is me with my glasses. There's a little bit of a glare. So as I was saying today, um, hold on a minute. So we're in the in the hotel room in Sioux Falls, our first stop, and we're watching Incredible. We are all showered up, having candy that we picked up at this huge candy store. If I can pick, if I can pull up some um, footage, I will. So we decided to stop at Minnesota's largest candy store. Look at the crazy sodas. Guys, let's keep going. What other flavors? Yeah. Does it? All different types. This place goes on forever. Let's go look at the different candies. We don't have much time. The fresh pies. Oh my goodness, if you could smell it right now. It smells so good. This place is so cool for kids. And for adults. What do you see? It is Elsa, huh? I have, I, I have that, I have Oh. This place has everything. Come on. Mom, that's a veggie. I guess, that's cute, huh? You gotta also move into the coin. So she got some chocolate coins. I think it was just, you know, it was real today. It felt really real that um, I was leaving home. And as much as I am ready to move and I'm over Minnesota, I felt like, I'm gonna take these off. Just too much of a glare. Um, I felt like it's scary. It's scary to get out of your comfort zone, but I also feel like, you know, any decision I've ever made where I actually grew I was uncomfortable and scared. Okay, so um, we went to bed last night at about 8, 8, 8 p.m. And I woke up at 2.30. I just couldn't get back to sleep. And I figured, you know what? I could start our journey on our road trip to Mount Rushmore today. So we got up. It's about 3 right now. Still getting ready. And I'm about to do the girls' hair. We'll probably head out around 4. I have to get some gas. But... We're going to stop along the way. There's a place called Wall Drug that everybody talks about that I wanted to check out. And then also um, just see what else is on the way. Um, but I wanted to be able to get to Mount Rushmore and have plenty of time and not arrive at our Airbnb in Hot Springs, South Dakota, too late. 
Okay, so we are about 25 minutes from this place called Waldrug. I wanted to go because I've been hearing so much about it and I saw so many signs on the way here, but we are in the middle of nowhere in South Dakota, but it's beautiful. It said that there was a scenic outlook, so we decided to stop and take a look at it. Hey. <laughs> so yes, we drove at about 4.30 in the morning, got to see the sunrise. I will never do that again because it is fall or almost fall, so um, the sun does not rise now until about 7, 7.30. So I was driving in pitch black, and look, there's no lights. So it was just dark, I didn't know where I was going, it was scary. Stayed on the highway, I was fine, but I will never do that again. Look! So from here, this is definitely prairie. It's beautiful, and right across from us, are the Badlands. So if you look here you can see kind of the start of the Badlands and they go all the way across. I wish you could see but we are not going to be driving over there. It's kind of the opposite. Well it's parallel to where we're going but we don't need to go over there right now. Here Cole. Come look over here guys. It is pretty chilly, so right now it's probably like 60 degrees, but the wind blowing feels like it's probably like high 50s. It's chilly. Um, you can just see prairie as far as the eye can see. One thing I love about the Midwest, you see that? There's tons of prairie. So. Come on guys, take a picture. Come look together. That's a video. Oh. We have entered officially into mountain time. Why is this? Did anyone else that uh, South Dakota is partially in central time and partially in mountain zone time? How you doing back there guys? So yeah, we've been driving since 4 a.m. It is 7 a.m. So it's been about three and a half hours that we've been driving. Uh, we're gonna stop at Wall Drug, like I said before, and we're gonna stop at Wall Drug. It's about, it's less than 20 minutes away right now. Never been there, I've heard a lot about it. I don't even know what to expect at all, so it should be fun. So we made it to Wall Drug area, which is right outside the Badlands in South Dakota. We're gonna tour it. I'll try it. Hi, how are you? And so there's an actual cafe to eat. Cafe, there's a to you, right? Thank you. Awesome, thank you. Hey, come on. Wow. You guys, um, they have lots of different breakfast and sandwiches and things you guys want. Here, hold this. Oh, but each like French toast with bacon and the kids. The kids one? Yep. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> okay. He is falling off the horse, huh? Is he a cowboy? Yeah. Um, we'll see how it tastes. I'm sure it'll be fine. But we walk in and it looks like there might be a lot of locals here. They're kind of staring at us looking crazy. But everybody's friendly so far. It's been very smiley. Okay. I think it's amazing. So I got the American breakfast with scrambled eggs and cheese added. Mm -hmm. Right, real? Mm -hmm. How is it, girl? Good. Okay. 
Brandon's got hot cakes and sausage. How was the sausage, Brandon? You ate that quick. And they give you so much butter. You can eat it all. Come on, don't hang about. Drop in some of that hard earned money of yours. Mommy, mm -hmm. I want to help you know. You guys are so funny. So, we have made it to Fort Hayes, which is this cute, I don't know, Old West kind of town. It supposedly has the film set of Dances with Wolves, but also really beautiful views. So I learned some things. I didn't realize South Dakota had mountains. I just didn't. I mean, I knew that there was a hill where the monument was, but I didn't know if it was considered a mountain. Did you know that? The movie said. They're playing the movie over there. This is where they're telling how they made the movie. You remember this movie? Danza con lobos. And look outside these windows of where they filmed this. It is beautiful. Look at those. You can see it from right here. Do you guys see that? I'm supposed to be in two right here. So after parking, we made it. Let's walk forward, guys. There's Mount Rushmore is right behind us. Was it what you guys thought it would be? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Was it better or it was okay? Um, it's better to see it in real life. You've seen it in pictures before, right? Yeah. 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 Like, like what? Let me see what you got. Oh, wow. Brielle bought that today. This one shows a lot of movement. Okay, so we got to our Airbnb and it's really cute and quaint, real cozy. Um, I met the lady's daughter and yeah, they've just set it up really cute. I'm definitely like Cowgirl inspired.
Here's the neighborhood of the Airbnb. So quiet. We are on our way to Colorado Springs. We just left Hot Springs, South Dakota. So we're still in South Dakota, but we just had to film on how beautiful this was. Here we are in South Dakota, right on the border of Wyoming. I think we are crossing over right now. You see, that was South Dakota. We just left, and right here is Wyoming. Okay, so we just got to Cheyenne, Wyoming, right, Bella? Wyoming so far has been desolate. Yay! There was like, okay, it was desolate. There was no one for miles, and there was like no houses, one lane, highways both ways, and. Cheyenne finally feels, finally, at the very end of Wyoming, like a, a city, a little bit of a city, more like a suburb in Minnesota. But anyway, next stop is Colorado. If you like this video, don't forget to like and share. And for more video content like this, subscribe. Bye.